He is trying to give Jacob the bigger picture here and trying to, to ground him in the core doctrines of the gospel. I think in many ways, this is one of the most doctrinally rich chapters mm -hmm. in the entire Book of Mormon. And, and we might go to, to verse 26, where, where he, be, he begins to, to talk about this, especially in relationship to, to agency, but also where, what agency is predicated upon. And so in verse 26, he says, And the Messiah, Jesus Christ, cometh in the fullness of time, that he may redeem the children of men from the fall. And because that they are redeemed from the fall, they have become free forever, knowing good from evil, to act for themselves and not to be acted upon, save it be by the punishment of the law at the great and last day, according to the commandments which God has given. Now, it's, it's a little bit of a, of a dense scripture there, but, but what Lehi is trying to help Jacob understand is that you are free because Jesus Christ has freed you. If it weren't for the atonement, if it weren't for Jesus Christ's saving grace, your sins would drag you down mm -hmm. to the point that you, you literally would have no freedom. You, you would not have the ability to escape them. We would become and, angels to a devil. Ex exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, talk about chains mm -hmm. that we talked right. about in, in the previous. You know, you'd have no power mm -hmm. to cast off those chains. So he said, because of the atonement of Jesus Christ, he takes those chains off of you, right? He now gives you the freedom. He gives you the platform by which you can make real choices, where you can choose liberty, you can choose life, you can choose Christ, or, or otherwise.